Massachusetts STEM Week celebrates students who turn curiosity into discovery. WBZ's Jacob Wyckoff met one of them, a Harvard student whose passion for science started oceans away and could help power a cleaner future. She's a first year student at Harvard and already thinking about how to power the future. I learned how to turn algae into biofuel in a $7 million lab at UC Berkeley. And that was throughout a summer program in my freshman year. That was just high school. And when Emily Chen got home, she kept going. And I ended up creating biofuel in my kitchen. In your kitchen? Yes. Wow. With no lab. Without access to expensive equipment, she used what she could find at home. Her catalyst, coconuts, a creative substitute for the chemicals she didn't have. I wow. was able to extract potassium iodide from the coconuts and use that to separate the oils from the algal cell parts. Her idea of turning algae into energy made her one of the top students in the country. She was selected as a national STEM champion, attending the festivities in Washington, D.C. a few years ago. I met some of my best friends there, and I even met like Rohan Bosley. We're great friends. I'm, he's at MIT. I'm here at Harvard and we hang out sometimes. Rohan at MIT, Emily at Harvard, both part of a small network of national STEM champions who stay connected beyond the festival. We just share all these ideas and we all have the same goal to like make the world a better place. But for Emily, that mission started a world away. And I come from the beautiful South Pacific island of American Samoa. American Samoa, it's a small island in the South Pacific. It's actually an American territory. We only have 50,000 people living there. 7,500 miles from Harvard, on a tiny island surrounded by the Pacific, she found her inspiration in the ocean she grew up on. Finding another renewable energy source can help fight climate change. I think um, it's a way to say thank you to my island. Now she's taking that passion into the classroom. I'm studying environmental engineering and economics. I think I want to take this algal biofuel project and scale it, but I want to apply it, um, try to start a business with algal biofuel farming. For Emily, this is more than biofuel or lab work. This is about what science can do for people and places she loves. Science, it's a very complex word because it can be used in very good ways. And to me, it's about using real world data to make an impact. So. And that's exactly what you're doing. <laughs> an idea born by the ocean, now making waves half a world away. You just met Emily. She's a former national STEM champion. You may be asking yourself, what is the National STEM Festival? Well, the National STEM Festival is a celebration of the country's brightest young minds, students who turn curiosity into innovation. Students are chosen in each U.S. state and territory and get an all-expense paid trip to Washington, D.C. I spoke to Jenny Bukos, the co-founder of the National STEM Festival. We're celebrating these kids, but we're also bringing them to D.C. for opportunities to connect with corporate leaders, to connect with elected officials, industry experts. It's this idea that your project doesn't just end when you win a competition. But what are the next Students in grades 7 through 12 can submit their projects in categories like aerospace innovation, future foods, health and medicine, tech for good, and powering the planet. Applications are open through November 16th at nationalstemfestival.com. Teachers, parents, students, I highly encourage you to apply because the next great discovery, the next big idea, could be right here in Massachusetts. In the studio, Jacob Wyckoff, WBZ News. Jacob has done such a nice job on this every night introducing us to some of these folks. And I have to say, every night, say the same thing. There's a young person who's way smarter than me. And, and Emily, <laughs> being able to see the full trajectory right. of her story, how it began, and we don't know yet where she's going, this is a career to watch. So composed and so talented. So smart. <laughs>